What's up guys, welcome back to our Zombies Challenge series, and today we're going to be playing Zombies Under the Influence of Crack. <laughs> Not really, but we're we're going to be using a little crystal, Aether Crystal that is, because in one of our challenge videos we got this suggestion from your boy Alex, where he wants us to get to round 69, only using the loot that we get from the Aether Crystals. But he does say that we can buy self revives, and that we can pack a punch, but I'm going to go ahead and say that our field upgrade is okay to use as well. Same with any loot that the Zombies drop, I think that's fair game, because those are just nades anyways. So, of of course, like many of our other challenges, we're going to be going in with nothing but a bare bones 1911, no attachments, and our field upgrade is going to be Tesla Storm. And since we need to break some Aether Crystals, the only really map that we can play and get these reliably is D-Machine. Actually, I don't even know if there's crystals in other maps. Maybe Forsaken during the Easter egg, but I don't know. But anyways, let's hop on D-Machine and see how far we can get just getting loot from these Aether Crystals. All right, here we go. Flying on into D-Machine, and this is going to be tough. But I'm pretty sure this is going to be very similar to our Coffin Dance only round 100 that we had attempted where we can only use the loot that we got from the coffin dances and we we're using the crystals to try to get more perks so it's gonna be pretty similar to that except we don't get the the random chance of getting whatever gun on the coffin dance and we don't get that free jug the only perks we're gonna be able to get is if they drop out of crystals so i'm gonna go ahead and try to save up some money get power on because we're not gonna be able to head to the dark aether until then so i'll see you guys when we got that all set up all right we saved up our money and now we're heading on in to turn power on just gotta go ahead and open this door there we go hit the little button grab the loose change while we're right here and let's hit this and this one and we'll wait for our anomaly to show up and we actually get to start looting right away i'm pretty sure crystals will spawn here in the anomaly so hopefully that we can get a gun real fast so i think guns probably have the highest probability of spawning in like over perks and like other things like that i mean of, of course tacticals and lethals are going to spawn more than that in essence but we have a better chance of getting a weapon than we do a perk okay we need to go up as fast as possible uh oh i say that and i go to a place where i don't have the door open okay we can go right through the portal but let's see what these got to offer Ooh, armor let's go ammo salvage oh no we are not getting good luck on our first run through. We're getting scammed. It's all salvage and essence and ammo. I think the, the higher round we get to, the better chance we have at getting things. So it shouldn't be too bad later, but it's just about us getting stuff to help us survive until then. Let's check spawn real quick. More essence, ammo, ammo. Looks like we're not really getting anything the first time through. Yep, just salvage. All right, let's head through the portal. That's unfortunate, but it's all right. Because we can get pack-a-punch going. I think I might... Ooh, wait, first loose change. There we go. But I think I might want to get pack a punch on this 1911 to start because if we end up getting unlucky enough to not get a weapon, it's going to be 1911 all the way to round 69. So we better get this thing ready to go. All right. We have our anomaly already ready. So I'm hitting it immediately. And we're just going to be doing a whole lot of run around the map breaking these crystals. So I'll try to only show you guys if we get something useful. Oh, speaking of something useful, I didn't even have to cut very far. We got right into death perception. Now we'll see how long we can hang on to it. In our, our coffin dance video, it wasn't it wasn't very long. Every time we got one, it was like it, it was a curse almost. So today we're gonna break that curse. Can you get wonder weapons out of these? I think I've seen a ray gun drop from one of these. So it is possible. We could get a ray gun, and then it would be really really easy to get up to round 69, but I don't see that happening. And I'm gonna go ahead and put shatter blast on this thing just to start. We're going to need it. Oh, I forgot about Megatons. Jeez. We're going to take them out with a 1911. Also, uh, I'm just going to put this out there already. I think it's going to be fair or it, it should be fair to use our armor stand because there's no other way to get those items in round base. Like where there's no way we can get level two or level three armor without using the armor stand. And there's no like aether wrenches for us to upgrade our weapon without you know, using the armor stand. So I think that that's all right to use, especially since we're working with so little here. What's up, big fella? Don't touch me. You're not allowed to touch me. All right. Shatter Blast. How much does just a 1911 do? Not a lot. Basically nothing. Oh, it's not even doing anything to the zombies anymore. This is bad news bears. All right. I'm going to exercise my right to use the armor stand. And I'm going to upgrade our 1911 right now. I'm really trying to keep my distance from this Megaton. I don't want to lose death perception around after getting it. So if he's going to take me out, he's going to have to shoot me. A carpenter. Oh, eh, that could be useful. Get stunned. Idiot. Get clapped in the mouth. I should probably turn the Rampage Inducer on pretty soon here. So I'm going to hit the little Aether Reactor or the Aether of the Anomaly, whatever it's called. And we're, we'll continue getting our crystals, but I'm going to go ahead and turn on the, the Rampage Inducer while we're heading up here. Go ahead, spawn in crystal. I dare you. Dumbass. 
I missed. Oh, we got a gun out of this. The stoner, though, uh, probably could use a faster weapon with not a sniper scope on it, but we did get a weapon out of it, so that's good. We'll actually have something to, something at our disposal besides this 1911, but I think I'm going to stick with the 1911 for the most part. Also, I forgot to turn on the Rampage Inducer already. We were just talking about it, and I forgot. There we go. Rampage Inducer is on, and Megaton is split. Let's go check on our other crystals. Yeah, a whole lot of nothing on all these crystals. I think that's what it's mainly going to be. Was that a nuke? I'll for sure take that. Ooh, a double points? We'll take that. We're gonna need to start pack-a-punching here soon, so. A little extra points, can't hurt. I really need this Megaton gone. There we go, sleep. Even though I said we can use drops, I'm not gonna use the DIE Shockwave because they just dropped the item to go and get it, and I just thought about it. We're, we're not gonna be using that. We'll just stick to whatever the crystals give us. We have a crawler, which really isn't necessary in Cold War, so I'll kill it. And then I'll just Tesla Storm when I get down to pack-a-punch. First, let's upgrade our armor. It's level two, weapon level blue, and Tesla Storming. Let's grab Pack-a-Punch on this. There we go. And let's hit up our portal before we get hit here. Perfect. It's gonna be a whole lot of doing laps around the map. I'm definitely gonna get my steps in. I should have worn that, uh, that pedometer watch in this game. All right, we've made it through, you know, 10 rounds. We're on round 12 now. So far, so good. Nothing crazy has happened. I'm sure it's only going to get way more difficult as the rounds start to progress and we start to see more sprinters here with the Rampage Inducer. But we're, we're holding the strong. We're still hanging on to our perk for now. Shatter Blast is still king. Oh, and we got another Megaton. Ooh, the Pack-A-Punch 1911 actually does a decent bit to him. All right, Shatter Blast about to go off though. So let me take out this horde. Oh shit, don't touch me. A Carpenter, we need that actually. Ooh, I needed that. And actually, Death Perception is probably the perfect perk we could have gotten. So I think it increases our drop rate of things. Like not only from zombie kills, but maybe from crystals. As well as just outlining them in case I, I missed one for some reason. But this is doing massive damage to the Megaton. We already got him splitting. Ooh, free armor, we take those. And an insta-kill. Easy Megaton kills without having to use our Tesla Storm. Like look how fast he dies here gone sleep goodbye now i'm gonna make my way down and grab pack two while also activating our little aether reactor portal anomaly whatever oh i grab pack two as we're hitting the portal perfect timing oh we got an aug i'm picking that up over the stoner oh if i can get to it you know what i have a tesla storm of course i can get to it give me that a purple aug two guns already i'm definitely keeping the aug over the stoner i'm leaving that stoner on the ground we do not need that but this AUG is going to be amazing. We need to start pack-a-punching this. But I'm going to stick with uh, 1911 until we got the funds to do so. Honestly, it might be good to get like Brain Rot on one, Shatter Blast on the other. Mix up the ammo types. And I already know that burst weapons are kind of crazy in zombies. So this AUG should be very, very nice. We have 10k. So I guess we can get it pack one and grab an ammo mod on it. So there's pack one. There's Shatter Blast. And we'll have to come back to change out our ammo type on our 1911. Oh, actually... Every shot from this 1911 is 420. Should we even do anything to it? But I think we're actually pretty well set up here. Being able to pack a punch and everything. And we can go ahead and hit the nuke on him too. Get that easy damage. Give him a pistol, a little mouth. And he's already splitting. Okay, I need a Tesla Storm here to take these guys out. I almost just got killed there. What do they drop? An insta-kill? I will definitely take that. And while we still have a little bit of Tesla Storm left, never mind, it's gone. I do want to hit the anomaly. Okay, never mind, it's not doing it. Sometimes the hitboxes on this are so weird. We'll have to come back, but we'll take the time to throw Brain Rot on this instead. Brain Rot's definitely going to help out. Get a few little minions on our side to go ahead and get us some Tesla Storm. And we can just do a little extra damage. Now, we the, our Brain Rots won't be able to hit the Megatons unless they're Plague Hounds, which is a little unfortunate, but we just got to remember that for whenever we see a Plague Hound. But we grab Pack 2 on our AUG, so this is going to be our main weapon now. Honestly, not bad attachments on it either. Don't know what it is, but it's not a scope, so I'm fine with it. And then we grabbed armor level three while we're being hounded. Holy shit. I'm taking the portal up. Give me time to reload anyways. Oh, another perk. What did we get? Tombstone? I, I ragged on this. Or I, I do rag on this quite a bit. But when I was real disappointed to get it in one of our other challenge videos, it actually kind of saved the day. So, you know, welcome aboard, Tombstone. Wish you were anything else, though. Honestly, a, a brain rot on uh, an armor zombie or a plague hound? Probably the best thing, a brain rot. It'll just eliminate me having to kill a heavy zombie, which is perfect. I don't want to have to do that. Those things just tank so many shots. And then the plague hound is just so useful. Yogg's not bad against his Megaton. He's already splitting. All right, time to tell storm these guys they're getting on my nerves get out of here scram oh and we have thirty thousand. i'm gonna go ahead and triple pack this we'll have our first triple pack weapon there we go augs all good to go uh maybe we it could use a little uh level up but for now it's fine we're still like what round 20 we have so much to go oh what dropped what is that an ffar do we take that over our 1911 i feel like we have to but uh, we already have this thing double packed let's do it let's do it 
Sorry, 1911. We got two nice weapons now. Let's go. So this is going to have to be our brain rot gun because our brain rots aren't doing anything right now. I don't think the brain rot scales with rampage inducer. I'm just realizing if you brain rot like a sprinter zombie during rampage inducer, I think it just goes back to what a zombie would be on like round 20 or whatever round you're on. That's actually interesting because they're no longer pissed off from the rampage inducer. So they're just kind of just squatting around. What is this? Oh, never mind. FFAR. Get the fuck out of here. We got dual 1911s now. That's what they wanted us to do. They said no. Oh, one nineteen eleven. That's not enough. Here's two. Let's go. Two weapons. Same round. Honestly, FFAR, you had you had a nice time for a minute there. Literally used you for twenty seconds. We got another gun. Well, honestly, that's the best case scenario. I, I was kind of feeling sad. We got rid of our nineteen eleven, but now we got Bofa. And if we didn't get that FFAR, I don't think we would have been able to switch out our nineteen eleven because they'll think like, oh, you already have this gun. You can't pick up another version of it. And I don't think it lets you swap either. I could be wrong though. But either way, thank you for your service, FFAR. You did us well. Okay, quick nuke. I'm gonna go get these pack punch after I hit the anomaly of course. All right, they are pack one and they are brain rotted. We're actually in really good shape here. Two perks, two weapons. We could have three or four because we did get the stoner drop and the FFAR drop. Like we, these crystals, they, they're, they're doing what they got to do today. Oh, another drop, an XM4. I'm going to keep with my pistols. I think I'm good on my guns right now, unless they drop me a wonder weapon or like dual Diamantes or something. Like unless it's significantly better than what I have, I think I'm going to leave it if it's a weapon. But if you want to start dropping me some perks, I will take whatever you give me, unless it's a duplicate. I swear, if I get a duplicate perk, I'm going to be pissed. What are the odds of getting the same perk out of a crystal twice in a game? I feel like I got to be pretty low. Okay, we got to take out this Megaton. Get the fuck out of here. And this is what I'm talking about with the Plague Hounds. Look, the Plague Hounds will actually pounce and attack these Megatons here. Like, they will solely focus on them, basically. Where if it was the normal zombie, they kind of just stand there if there's only Megatons left. So it's nice for a Plague Hound to get some extra damage for me. But either way, these Megatons can't stand the AUG. Just melted them. Oh, what's up, dog? Oh, what? You just jumped right out of the, the rock at me. You even let me pet my pup. All right, I had to pop my Tesla Storm. I was about to get like cornered and killed there. So while we have it going, I'm going to go down and pack punch these 1911s a little more. There's pack two, and that's about all we can get for now. We'll be back though. All right, we officially have enough money to get these pack three. So let's do it. Perfect. Now we have two pack punch three weapons all ready to go. I do not have enough money to even use the fast travel, which is real bad. <laughs> I literally spent my last dollar on getting this thing pack three and how we can use it. Okay. And I'm down. Shit. Do we tombstone shadow? I feel like we do. So we can keep uh, our, what's it called? Death perception. But there's so many zombies near me that need to go away. You guys can't camp my body. That's not fair. All right, let's do it. Okay. Oh, where am I? Can I open doors like this? I'm too broke to. Shit. I might just screwed myself. I did. I think I did. It's over. The game's over. No. Oh, we're doing so well. Why did I even use tombstone? I had a self revive. There's no point. There's no need. Shit. All right. I'm going to try this again. We'll be right back. <sighs> All right. We're back. You guys know the drill. I'm going to go ahead and get everything started. I'm going to do it with the rampage inducer on. All right. I think we have enough money now. We have two zombies left in the round. I am actually just really disappointed that we even died. Just going down, that was fine. But us trying to use tombstone to get back and then going the complete wrong way. I don't even know if you can open doors with tombstone or not. Either way, we didn't even have enough money. That was just a complete fumble of the bag. We got so much good luck going into it and just completely threw it all away. So that's not going to happen this time. This time, we're, we're making it the whole way there. And let's hit the button, grab the loose change. All right, let's head on in. And let's see if they'll mind uh, spawning us with a perk again. Perk, please. Oh, armor. I guess that's fine. More armor. Cool. Oh, no. This is going to be the pain run. There's literally nothing. And for our last crystal, nothing. Damn, we really didn't know how good we had it. Let's upgrade our 1911. And I'm gonna go throw a Shatter Blast on it. We have a little bit of time. Oh no, I never grabbed the part. I'm an idiot. Oh, what? I was just running around in the Dark Aether for so long. I never grabbed the part and I went down. I'm double dumb. Okay, there goes our self-revive. This has been the worst start to a game. I fumbled the bag and came back and continued to fumble it. I'm an idiot, dude. What a waste of our self-revive. We didn't even go down till round 28 last time. Now we're going down on seven. To be fair, I don't think we started our rampage inducer till like way after. But come on, these are rookie mistakes. All right, I guess it's just gonna get a little more interesting from here. Can I use the anomaly, please? Thank you. Okay, we're still gonna get our crystals, but I'm not gonna forget this time. All right, nothing from those crystals. Wasn't worth it. Let's actually get the uh, pack a punch going now. There we go. All right, now let's get 
a little shatter blast on here and we'll pack a punch it we just gotta be really really careful not to go down because we have no way of getting up we have zero blue salvage as well and i don't think we're gonna be getting any anytime soon and we have a new location for our portal too it's out in pond which is probably the worst spot for it honestly this isn't that bad of a spot like location wise yeah it's gonna be a little tough to train here i have died a lot in pond but it'll put us right on track to just start hitting crystals immediately because we'll spawn right next to him and we have a megaton perfect exactly the guy you want to see when you got no self revive oh geez 50 health i really need uh does the storm this is stressful hold on shatter blast that should help get tells the storm going get this armor repaired actually that's a bonus points on a carpenter that's a carpenter peak of the devil and we have a dog ground which is perfect for us getting more time to take out these guys we almost have enough to buy a self revive unless one drops from a crystal which could happen and which would be like best case scenario okay we got armor level two can't upgrade much else all right we have enough to get this thing packed too so let's go do that and we still have not gotten a weapon or anything from these crystals they put all of our crystal luck into our first game oh a monkey bomb might have to come back for that but these decoys are just too nice to get rid of all right let's try it might as well just use it and get rid of it instead of letting it despawn. Everybody on the monkey bomb, please, while double points are going. These guys aren't even attempting to get over there. What the hell? They sniffed it out. They knew the plan. We're very close. Actually, we just got it. We just hit that round milestone, so we get that salvage bonus. And we can go ahead and buy a self-revive. There we go. Okay, we're back in this for sure now. Got our little safety net back. We're all good. Can't believe we even went down in the first place. Yeah, let's see what we can upgrade here. Uh, not our armor, but we can get this to blue, which is fine. Any little upgrades we'll take. Please drop me anything. I will take anything. Maybe not tombstone though. I'm back on the, the tombstone hate train. Oh, there we go. A oh, fucking RPD. Come on. Okay, maybe not an LMG. I take that back. I will trade in the LMG. Oh, the RPD. And they're always putting some scope on it. What is this? The hangman scope? This is ridiculous. Who's trying to use a scope in zombies, especially round base? They actually troll with these. I'm not going to do anything with that RPD until like we, we hit the crystals like one or two more times. Because I don't want to start throwing like an ammo mod or something on it. And then just for us to get like a drop of uh, any other weapon that like has decent movement speed. There's no way I'm surviving a rampage inducer with an LMG. But what I will do is shred this Megaton while I have an insta kill. Let's get him to split and then we can Tesla storm the rest. There we go. There we go. Get out of here. Get out of here. We don't need ya. Sleep. And we do have enough for pack three, but I'm gonna have to wait till I get another Tesla Storm to have the safe amount of time to get it. Actually, we have one zombie left. We can save our Tesla Storm and just go pack a punch this. And I lied. That actually, the, the pond area, not a good location because I could have just hit the anomaly right there as I was passing down to the, the pack punch machine and then just get my crystals on the way up. But no, I gotta switch the spots on me. I guess I could do that one Easter egg step to get it to move, but that seems like too much work. Don't care enough. I do care, but I'm lazy. Oh, a perk. Let's go. We got elemental pop. Oh, one of the best ones you could have gotten. Let's go. Now the, the crystal luck starting to add up. We're getting weapons now, even though it's RPD, but we're also getting perks or a perk. Not bad. That electric cherry is going to be huge as well as double the shatter blast and just any other random ammo mod that I can just pop up. Oh, another monkey bomb. Might as well just use it. Please don't go down while I'm using it. I'm going to freak out. I'm going to freak out. Oh, that was such a nice, nice mantle. Oh, why do I got to like, I'm like prone to fumbling the bag. I think I don't know where my decoys went. Oh, there's a Gersh though. I guess I'll keep that instead. Look at, we have a crawler brain rot. How pathetic. All right. I'm going to go down and try to upgrade my armor. Maybe even upgrade our pistol because we have a decent bit of salvage now. Okay. Armor level three. Can't upgrade our pistol at all. Maybe I'll get brain rot on the RPD. I'll, I'll wait one more round. One more round of crystal running. So if there's any chance we can get a different weapon, I want a different weapon. I am not using an LMG if I don't have to. I'll even use like a RPG. I'll take that. Because if we get an RPG, we can just put dead wire on it and use that as our like our Megaton buster. Anytime a Megaton shows up, just RPG the shit out of them. Get that like bonus super effective damage from dead wire while getting all that extra damage on rpg actually i don't know how much rpg is gonna do we just did the rpg recently and i wrote a dark aether and it did not have as much or it does not do as much damage as i thought it would you think a, a huge rocket would do a lot more but it doesn't oh, i have to tesla storm here i'm so close to going down oh my god i almost just went down i almost caught a stray from that megaton and he needs to split i do not want to lose elemental pop or go down at all, actually. I don't want to do anything like that. All right, Megatons, we can talk about this. We can negotiate. 
Uh, how about you guys take a nade and I'll shoot you in the head. And in return, you will die. How's that sound? Yeah, we'll do one more run through of these crystals. Actually, you know what? I'm just not going to use the RPD at all. It's going to just stay as a secondary. Maybe I'll just throw a brain rod on it, but I'm not pack punching it. Because I know eventually we're going to get a better weapon. I don't want to sink points into uh, the RPD. Not happening. Not using it. I refuse. Oh, what dropped? Oh, never mind. Nothing dropped. Sometimes it looks like it's dropping something purple. It's not. They're lying. Oh, there it is. There's a bullfrog. Let's go. So we did get a drop. And we did get an actual weapon. Good thing I waited. Okay, let's pick it up. Much better. We need to take these megatons out now. They've been around for too long. They've been here for like two rounds now at this point. They're just not going away. There we go. Got them both. About time. Now let's try to get some points here so we can fully pack up our newly gotten bullfrog. I think we should have enough, but just to have some as insurance. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing packed. And maybe we'll switch this one to our uh, Shatter Blast now. Uh, this will be our primary. So pack one, pack two, pack three, Shatter Blast. Then we switch weapons and grab brain rot on the pistol now and now the two weapons that we have are pain and high anxiety let's go dude we're just missing suffering oh <gasps> no way we just got the ray gun out of crystal let's go oh oh please don't die though let's go i had to use that i had to use that gersh holy shit we actually got the ray gun okay this is the run too bad we just put all those points into our our, our bison our bullfrog? Well, I guess it don't matter. We have the weapon now. We just pull this out, get a little shatter blast going. Oh, I'm hyped. The crystals are in our favor today. And since we have elemental pop, we can still shatter blast while using the ray gun if we're lucky. Like if we can proc it. Oh, I'm hyped. Really wish I would have stopped for a thumbnail while it's on the ground though. Oh, well, there's not that many zombies left in the round. I'm gonna go get this bad boy pack a punch. Shout out these crystals, dude. Looking us up. There's pack one and we'll definitely be coming back for the rest of them. How's the round not ended? Where, where is there like a zombie that's lost? I hear him. Okay, there we go. For a second there, I was gonna get scared. I thought the game glitched out right after we got a ray gun. Maybe it's like, yeah, you weren't supposed to have that. Maybe you should stop playing. We're chilling. All right, we got enough to get this packed again. So let's go do that. There we go. Now if we get PhD, it's over. Like we can literally just sit there and shoot at our feet and win the game. All right, we've made it to round 30 now. Uh, it's been very, very smooth sailing ever since we've gotten this ray gun. Only problem is we were fresh out of armor, so I'm going to repair that. But still nothing too crazy out of any of the uh, crystal scents. Not that we need anything else, but I mean, there still is a chance. We can still get some more perks. Armor is refilled. Can we upgrade this? Let's just get this to legendary. Why not? And we basically have our setup for the rest of the game. And we finally have enough to get this thing all the way up to pack three. There we go. And we're big chilling. Oh, shit. Please don't die. Let's take this Megaton out. We're actually just smacking every zombie in sight. We only have 21 health though, somehow. I don't know how. The zombies are hitting through my Tesla storm. Oh, nuke, perfect. Right after they split, get that damage up and get these Megatons out of here. There's one, there's two. Let's go. Easy round. Oh, another Megaton spawning? What? Two in a round? This early in, they do that? Oh, but this thing kind of shreds the Megaton, regardless of insta-kill or not. I would hope so. It's literally the ray gun. There we go. Got him splitting. The bison does not do too much to it. Or the bullfrog, whatever it's called in this game. Ray gun though? Slapping him. All right, I'm starting to see a lot more sprinters now. We're getting uh, some zombies clocking some nice 40 times. So if a crystal would uh, like to go ahead and drop me some stamina up or something, or literally any perk, I don't care. That'd be cool. Preferably like jug or stamina up though. Anything else? I mean, I'm cool with not having. What's up, Megaton? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm getting drilled. Oh, Tesla Storm. I have no health. Holy shit. There we go. I need to repair my armor. Like now. Oh, I gotta wait though. We got no Tesla Storm. I cannot get hit one more time. Come on, health. I need to go get armor now. Thank God we have a Tesla Storm. There we go. Fully repaired. These crystals have been cheeks ever since I got the ray gun. I think I used up all my luck. I haven't gotten anything worth using. Oh, shit. We went down. No, I got pinned back here. Damn, there goes our elemental pop. I just had to talk shit on the, the crystals and then the crystal gods come and take us out. At least we're right by uh, our little crafting bench. We can just craft and ourselves revive. So let's revive ourselves here. Go down a decoy and grab ourselves revive. And let's get the fuck out of this corner because we will die here. This will be our tomb. And we're down again. Holy shit. It only took one shot. The second our armor is gone, it's like over. All right. Do we have enough for another one? I hope so. Yeah, we do. We've, we've done our saving. Now, I'm not doing anything until I have armor. But F and chat for that elemental pop. Rest in peace. All right, come on. Give me a replacement perk, please. Please, crystals. I'm sorry. 
Oh, we did get an RPG. I was talking about that, but I feel like it's safer for us to have the, the bison. I was going to use that as our pseudo wonder weapon, but we already have one. We're just going to leave that one to sit there. We'll use a perk. Any perk will do. We can literally use whatever. Yeah, I guess not. No perk for me. All right, we're 40 rounds into this. We're still going. Maybe not strong, but we're still going. We could use a few perks, crystals. Please. Oh. They give me a Megaton instead. Come on, Crystals. I know you got something for me. It's been a while since you dropped me something nice. Oh, they've given up on me. What's going on, Megaton? Eat the Ray Gun. Zombies eat the Shatter Blast. And take a little Bullfrog on the side. Oh, we got a Hower. How are these nuts? Not going to use it, though. Actually, maybe we should switch it out. The Bullfrog really not doing all that much. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to roll back around and switch it out. Hower is definitely a better weapon to use. The hell's that shaking? It was like stomping. What the hell's going on? I gotta loop back to that Hower before it despawns. There's the Hower. We'll take that. No, it just disappeared. I just watched it disappear. It just, I just, it just despawned. What the fuck? I wanted that. I like that. I should have put a ring of fire on it. But still, these crystals are screwing me. I haven't gotten anything in a long time besides that Hower, and I didn't take it. We're only getting weapon spawns. We haven't seen a perk in ages. This has felt like our slowest challenge yet. Even though this is basically the same or is pretty similar to our uh, coffin dance one, I feel like this is taking so much longer. Not only do we have to restart like on a round 30, maybe even a little higher. I don't even remember at this point, but we, we've gone again and we made it probably about double the way. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. All I want to say is this shit taking forever. Come on. Just one perk, please. Just not tombstone, though. Anything but tombstone or LMG. We'll take anything but a tombstone or an LMG. Oh, a monkey bomb. Probably not going to grab that. I will go down and try to wind that up. I wish monkey bombs were a lot faster because they're very iconic. Not very usable. Well, it would be useful and usable would be a perk. But no, we fumbled our only perk. What is this? Oh, it dropped me a 1911. Not dual wield, though. So we'll keep with what we got. But that's our first, like, drop in a minute. Oh, jeez. This is bad news bears. Hold on. We're kind of, we're kind of schmoovin'. Megaton's almost split. He's splitting. Scoop the armor. Hit a nade on the tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. There we go. Do it again. This is basically what I've been doing the whole time. Just run around in circles. If they're trained up enough, I'll go ahead and hit them with the bullfrog. No Jeremiah. If not, I'll toss a nade down at that tree while I'm running past it. Then they'll all follow after me get hit by the nade get some easy kills there start building up our field upgrade and now that it's filled up we'll go right up to them we'll switch to our bullfrog because we don't want to splash damage ourselves into an early grave with the ray gun but we can take out everything pretty easily at that point point. and there goes both the megatons right about now perfect and the round cool this is basically what i've been doing this whole time i think i might start limiting myself to checking these crystals every like 10 rounds because it takes forever to do i mean not really that long but it adds up when you're doing it like every round but we're also not really getting anything out of it we already are kind of set up with like the ray gun i guess it's just gonna be like no perks for as long as we can do it but i don't think they're gonna be generous and give us any perks anytime soon hopefully i jinx myself right now and it drops one in this very last crystal let's see Nope. Ammo. Yeah, it's not worth it. I'm just going around and getting like extra scrap and ammo and then sometimes a weapon. So I'll check it like every 10 rounds. If it gets to that point. But for now, I'm just trying to get through these rounds. I've been playing for like three hours at this point. This one game has taken about two hours and our first game took an hour. So definitely trying to speed up the process a little bit. Oh, shit. My own nade. Oh, my own nade almost just took me out because I got boxed in. Holy. That was close. I would have been pissed. At least we don't have any perks to lose. I just don't want that self-revive getting more expensive. Or just another down on our record. I, I have no armor. I can't let these zombies even get near me. So I'm hitting them with the Molotov decoy combo. And it's actually so deadly. I just gotta wait for that fire to go away. Because that will knock me. There we go. I need to get the hell out of here and get some armor somehow. So we're in the 50s now. And these zombies are very, very fast. Okay, there's our armor. Let's head back up. Megaton, I need you to leave. You are awful for my health. I need you to go. There we go. It's split. Oh, no. How am I so low on health? Ooh, shit. Oh, a nuke. Perfect. Bring me that. Okay, we're the Megatons. You guys need to die while you're stunned. Thank you. Goodbye. Thanks for playing. <gasps> and a Gersh on the ground? I'm taking that. I have been using these decoys an awful lot, but can't pass up on a Gersh. These zombies are too fast. They're fucking me up. Ow. All right, zombies get shatter blasted then. They're gonna hurt me. Somebody dropped me armor, though. 
couple of these zombies. That'd be great. Or drop. Oh, never mind. I'll just get dropped. What about that? I'm just going to light up these zombies while I'm sitting here. Might as well just keep working on the round. Oh, there is armor right there. Perfect. Somebody out. Somebody listened. Let's go. Okay, let's use our self-revive. Let's use a Gersh. Keep him away from me. Let's buy another self-revive back and we're chilling. Oh, an insta-kill too. So let me just roam around. Get some stuff back. Stop hitting me, please. We got stuns and nades again. Oh, a decoy. We'll take that. Way better than a stun. Actually, they're pretty on par. I, I just think decoys are a little more my style. Oh, a carpenter. Give me that. Oh, thank you for restoring my armor. It's getting tough now. These zombies are way too fast. They keep hitting me. Oh, jeez. I'm just tanking shots. Get away from me. Come on. We're so close to health cap. We're almost there. Oh, is that a Gersh on the ground? Look at that. We've gotten three Gershes this game. That's the Gersh world record. I hardly ever see them as drops. That's only one zombie left, and I, I think it's been about 10 rounds since I've uh, talked about our, our new rule. I'm going to go ahead and hop into the Dark Aether and see if they'll give me a perk. Maybe we'll get stamina up and we'll be able to keep this thing going. These zombies are getting too fast for me. These crystals are just letting me know that I made the right decision and waiting every 10 rounds to hit them because I have gotten a whole lot of nothing. It's a big old nothing burger. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Only like armor pieces. Armor pieces, ammo, and scrap. All right, so I mainly use just like normal nades for this, like bouncing it off the wall. And like Semtex and everything work too, but this C4 just did so much damage. Check this out. Skadoosh. Everybody's gone. That is ridiculous. Lethals are so good in this game. We are now on a health cap, meaning after this point, the zombie's health stays at the same rate. I don't know if they get stronger or not, like in terms of damage they put out, but the zombie's health will never be higher than what it is right now. And with the ray gun, we can kind of just mess up these zombies. They're like a three shot kill. So it's not too bad. The only problem is we got no perks though. We're doing this perkless and I am armorless, which is also not good. Ow. No, we're down again. Oh shit. As a megaton spawns too. Okay, let's... Hold our revive. Go on over here. I'm dropping a Gersh. We'll buy another self revive. And we're good. No, we're not. Okay. That was the dumbest move I could have made. Actually, maybe not. Let's look at this Megaton. He's a fucking dumbass. He just sat there and got shot for a half hour. Let's go. Get owned. And now we self revive. And Tesla Storm. And buy another self revive back. Probably don't go down again. Probably would not be good. We're going to burn through our salvage so fast if we keep doing that. We got decoys now and nades. Okay, we can pull this off. First, just a little shatter blast. We got the rest of these guys. This is the most intense health cap round I've ever had. Oh, I'm down again. Jeez. Actually, this is just free shots at the Megaton. This is, I planned this. This is, this is perfect. We don't have another Tesla Storm, so hopefully these guys enjoy a decoy and we buy another self-revive. How much are they now? I don't even know. But they got to be going up in price because we're buying so many. Bounce a nade off the tree. We'll get a little bit of Megaton hit with that. All these guys are armored. Fuck off. At least the ray gun takes out armored zombies pretty easily. Best part about it. There we go. Took out the Megaton. Or at least one of them. And we'll take out this little guy. There we go. And that's the round. Rampage Inducer is off. We made it all the way past health cap. Only using weapons and perks that we got from crystals, which is pretty good, honestly. We made it very far. Okay, so I think the zombies are actually gonna be a little slower here. Okay, maybe not, I'm lying. I'm completely lying. They're all sprinting at me. Okay, maybe the ones that would have been a little slower don't get that extra like run boost or whatever from the rampage inducer. This is basically gonna be the same shit as a rampage inducer. Who am I kidding? Oh, and a nuke, let's go. Ooh, free armor, let's go. Give me that. Love me some free armor. Oh shit. Oh, I really did to myself. Right as I activated my Tesla Storm, too. This is bad. The second I hit 55, I'm just getting messed up. Okay, we have a few decoys. That can work for us right now. Okay, grab the self revive. Shatter Blast, please. There we go. Nade. Why is it so hard this time around? I feel like we did the same thing before and we were doing fine. Oh, motherfucker. Dog, get out of my face. Zombies, do not come here. You're not allowed to this go to this spot. This is my spot. This is my swamp. Okay, decoy go. Another one. They cost 650 now. Jeez. We had like 3,000 something blue salvage. And we were just burning through it. We've gone down so many times. We've gone down nine times at this point before we were at like three. Oh, crawler's just humping the other crawler. That's crazy. I didn't know they got down like that. I'm all out of decoys now with no health. Holy shit. Eat a nade. Oh, I found a decoy. Let's go. We found two. Exactly what we need. And we made it through the round. Oof. That was tough. All right, let's hit him with a Shatter Blast, the Yield. Please give me a quick armor. No, not a hit. No hitting. It's not nice. Ow. Fuck. 
We're down again. Okay, self-revive. We're running. We're throwing down a decoy. Zombie, don't touch me. No health. Self-revive. Oh, shit. No. Oh, my Lance. I have never gone down so many times in a row. We've gone down 11 times. I have two decoys left. I don't know how I picked up another one. It must have been one right by where I went down. Okay. Well, I don't know if we can afford a whole nother self-revive. We're only at 250 blue salvage. Okay, let me Tesla storm. Let me just make sure I'm safe for a little bit. Anybody in the giving mood that wants to drop me armor? Anybody at all? Oh, jeez. Okay, eat the nade. Fuck. These guys are way too fast. What did I do last time? I just more of an elite gamer then? My age is showing. My esports is dwindling. Oh, nuke. Let's go. Okay, what do we got on the ground over here? Anything we can use? Nope. Okay, everything just disappeared. Cool. Okay, let's go get armor. See if we can make it. Okay, we don't have a Tesla storm, but we can probably just rock this. There we go. Fuck me. No health. I just took fall damage too. Why didn't I just use the portal? Have I lost all sense of knowledge how am i gonna get to a crafting table come on we can book it all the zombies are so far away from us actually we can easily snag this decoy for safety though oh shit no we can't we need 800 we need 800 blue scrap we have 370 we are on our our last legs i think we have shatter blast to help us out along with its pal ray gun i need to get to that insta kill but i don't want to die grabbing it oh wait that's what we can do insta kill plus tesla storm equals your y'all fucked fuck you guys fuck you get a little payback on the zombies oh great a fucking megaton well we don't have ourselves revive come on take the damage oh jeez. all right everybody on the decoy now get onto it get into it yeah we'll take you all out oh shit what's over here another decoy nope yes actually and a no <sighs> all right well we only made it to round 57 we didn't quite get to 69 or 100, which would be our, our main goal. But really, we fumbled the bag so hard there. We went down 13 times. 13. All right. Uh, I really, really, <laughs> I, I don't think I can do another attempt. That's already like three and a half hours down the drain. But this is one of the hardest challenges we've done yet. I think the coffin dance, I don't know how we got so far doing that and then not far doing this. So we might give this one another crack sometime in the future, but for now. Uh, this is where I'm going to have to end the video. Uh, so if you guys any, have any challenge suggestions for me, make sure you leave them down below. I like them. You might see it here in the next video. But with that, I'm going to end the video here. So if you guys like this, if you want to see more, leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't, dislike if you're new here. Please subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time.